Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode... Oh, why did I not? Episode, episode. Oh my gosh, 131. Why do I not write it down? So anyway, so thank you so much for joining me. If you are new, make sure you say hi. If you are... Um, been here before make sure you say hi as well and welcome back uh, my name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley Arizona usually I do lives but today I am pre-taping um, because I have a doctor's appointment at 4 I know that's too much information so I just wanted to make sure I taped it so I could get it uploaded um, so I wasn't so totally rushed when I was doing it. So um, if you have any questions, I will try to watch with you till I have to leave. So if you have any questions, make sure you let me know um, and then I can answer them. You can also email me at, at any time. So um, I'm going to be combining two sets. I'm actually going to use a hostess set and we have some really cute ones right now. We have the sit, stay and relax. So I'm going to um, use this one, and I'm going to use it with, oh my god, oh here it is, ah, with this one, the Glad We're Friends, and Glad We're Friends is actually my July class in the mail, so that registration has opened, so this isn't one of the projects for that class, um, but this is another idea that you can use with the set if you do the class and get your own. So um, let me um, get started and we will get this card going. All right, so hold on. I'm going to be using the teacup cards and envelopes because they're so pretty and I wanted to use the parakeet, um, the pretty parakeet and, and this is in there. So I wanted to use these. All right, I'm also using the scalloped contours. All right, so what I did first was I just stamped on um, pieces of paper the, um, the chairs so I could decide which chair that I wanted in regards to my kitty. So I stamped my kitty on some basic white with the memento pad because I'm going to color her with the blends and I just kind of wanted to get the the chair figured out which one I was going to use so I ended up going with this one here this one looked cute but you could still see the puppy dog peeking out around the kitty and I didn't want that and then this chair was just a little bit too skinny so I didn't choose that one so this chair won in regards to the card all right so let's get my pieces here so these are the pieces I need now what I've done is I have actually cut another one of these cards so what I do is I just put this on my cutter and I go one inch one inch one inch one inch so then I get all of these strips and then I have strips to put on the inside of my cards so you do lose one card out of the pack but you know I'm fine with that you get four cards out of it and then I usually just toss toss the back of the card all right so let's get going here all right so my card is going to be this cute one with the stripes and this is going to go on the inside and like this, here it is for my adhesive and I just cut you know, like I said one inch so you can go this way or this way and I'm gonna go so that the lines are up and down on the inside of the card so that it's a little bit different All right. so that's the inside and I'm gonna leave mine plain because I want to have some to use later for note cards so I'm not going to put anything on the inside of this one just that little bit of card stock or the card that I, I trimmed alright so this is the piece of the scallop 
die, the contour that I'm going to use. Let me get a grid sheet. All right, so let's put our chair on here. I'm getting that in position. All right, so I'm going to stamp with Memento because I'm going to add some color to my chair and my kitty with the blends. Let me move this so you can see a little bit better. All right. And then I have found with this one, it's um, I just kind of wiggle my stamp set around a little, or my ink pad around, and I feel like I don't get the lines on there as bad. All right, so let's see here. I want to put my chair here. And then the greeting I'm going to use from that same stamp set, and it just is sitting here thinking of you and I did put that on my handy dandy stamp on my jig so that I can put it right where I want it on the card and I have mentioned before if you have stamped for any length of time you probably have a stamp on my jig in your stash all right And then, cross my fingers. All right, so just sitting here thinking of you. Now what I also want to do is I also want to stamp my cat. So I put my cat also on my stamp on my jig so that I can put my cat exactly where I want her so that she covers up the kitten on the chair. Now I'm doing this because when I cut my kitty out, I don't want to have to worry about cutting the balls on the crown or any of her fur because that will be on the card. It's not as obvious on this one because we have that chair back there. But it's just it's just fun. It's good practice to do if you're doing um, doing it on another another card. All right. So we've got our kitty back here. All right, so now I know my placement's all good. And then I'm gonna bring my kitten over. We're gonna set this aside so it can dry really good because I'm gonna also add some color to my chair. So let's bring our kitty over. So I, I colored the kitty yesterday, so it's going to be very similar to how I colored her yesterday with the little flirty nose and ear holes. Then my, let's see, my daffodil for the crown. So dark daffodil. Now if I hadn't have stamped the, the cat on the chair, I could easily cut away the crown so that your cat doesn't have a crown on it. But um, I think she just looks like she thinks she's the, the king of the household, so I left the crown on her. All right, now this is light Cajun craze. And then I'll just go back, oops, wrong side. I'll just go back with the daffodil and soften that. And to me, it looks like it's gold, a gold crown. All right, now we're gonna put a little bit of color. So I'm using 700, 400, and 600. So we're gonna give our um, kitty, um, yesterday I had her be silver and, and smoky slate, I think was her colors. So today I'm gonna have her be more like a, a brownish kitty. And But I'm gonna color the same way as I did yesterday. So I'm just going to give her some little squiggles here and there, just random bits of color. So this is, which one is this, 600? Yeah, this is number 600. So we're just giving her a splotchy calico kind of kitty look. And then somebody told me that calico kitties are always girls. So I was glad I was calling her a girl yesterday. All right, now this is 700, so it gets a little lighter the bigger the number goes. Let's put a couple little dots here and there. But I'm gonna leave some white so she's not totally colored in. And then this is 
400. So it's a little bit darker. But I just think the kitty looks so cute if she's not colored all the way in. All right, so there's our cute little kitty. All right, so let's bring our chair over. It's probably good and dry by now. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color, because remember I said I wanted to use the parakeet, the, the, light, the parakeet party. That's hard to say. All right, so the parakeet party. So I'm just going to color the leaves of the chair with the parakeet party. And this set's pretty cool. Like you don't even need to color it, but I did want to add a little bit of color. So I'm just really quickly all of these leaves on the chair. I'm just coloring in with the parakeet. And then what I'll do is I will cut out my kitty and I will glue her right over top of this kitty. All right, so that looks good. Oh, there's one. Now you can leave your chair white, but I wanna put a little bit of light pool party on the chair, just so that there's a little bit of color there. You don't have to color it all the way in. I'm just subtly putting a little bit here and there so that you know that the chair has a little bit of a color going on without totally coloring it in. Now pool party is one of those colors that just does not show up. All right, I want to take my number 600 and we'll put number 600 on the legs of the chair. Like that. We also want to ground our chair because it's not floating in the air. So I'm just gonna take my light gray granite and put some lines underneath the legs of the chairs. And now that chair is sitting on the floor. So let me raise that up so you can see that a little bit better. I don't know if the, the pool party might just show a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. All right, so there's that. All right, so now let's cut our kitty out. Now when I'm cutting the kitty out, I am cutting her right on the black line. Because remember I stamped her on here. So any of her hair that sticks out or her whiskers will be on the chair already. So I'm coloring her, I'm cutting her right on the black line. I'm also cutting the balls off the hat or the crown because they're on the card so I don't have to worry about cutting out those balls so I'm just going as close as I can and then all the little pieces of hair that are drawn on her will also be already on the card so she cuts out pretty quick That. Okay, almost. So usually I leave a white line, but this time I'm not. So that this way she's right in the chair. If you leave that white line, she's kind of not part of the scene. And I want her on that chair. So we don't want any white line around her. Okay her ears and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to outline her a little bit and I've done this before so cut her crown and that also will take any of that white paper off the edge you won't notice it so let me quickly finish cutting her out I have to keep making sure I'm not out of view. All right. I get so concentrating on my cutting, I forget that 
I need to also look and make sure you can see. All right, so we've got our cute little kitty cut out. Now I'm gonna take my dark gray granite and I'm basically going to trace around her. Now when I trace around her, what happens is this gray granite gets kind of sucked up into that cardstock, that white edge of the cardstock. So if there is any little bit of white showing that you left when you cut it out, it will have that gray on it so you won't really see it. So I choose Smoky Slate you could use too. I would not do the black even though you know we stamped in black just because the black Stampin' Blend is so potent. It's like so potent. So with this, if a little bit goes into the kitty, it's not a big deal. All right, so see, now you don't see any white edges around her. She is so stinking cute. All right, so let's bring our card over. Now I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals. Let me get the, the big dimensionals. There we go. I always have the, the baby ones right there. All right, so we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. But when I glue the cat on, where I normally would pop the cat up so she had a little bit of dimension, I'm gonna glue her right to the card because we have stamped her underneath. We also have that other cat under there. So we don't want that other cat to be shown. So this cat is basically sitting on top of that cat. So I'm gonna use my green tip glue and I have put it in this handy dandy little thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my glue on here. That's another reason why I stamped the kitty on here because I can see where I need to add the glue. So I'm not having to put the glue on here and then get my fingers all over it. You don't wanna to use tons, you don't want it oozing out, but I'm just putting that glue right on my kitty and then I'll just lay the other cat right on top because the glue's right where I needed it to be. So I just cover up those lines. And now you can see the balls are back on the crown. The fur and the whiskers are on the chair. Let me raise this up so you can see. So see, so you can see the fur and the whiskers are on the chair underneath. But this little kitty is covering that other one, right? So let's put a little bit of gems. I'm gonna get the champagne bling. All right, so I'm gonna get the champagne bling and my picker upper tool. And we're gonna put some cute little bling on this crown because this kitty needs some sparkle and these are perfect. So don't forget, today is free shipping and it's only till the end of the day, so you don't wanna miss, it out, miss out on that. So if you are ordering 150 or more, you can actually get the sit, stay and relax, because this is a hostess set. So make sure you grab that if you haven't signed up for my class in the mail, which is the stamp set here, which is the Glad We're Friends, make sure you do that. And then this could be another card, so you'll have another idea to use with this set. But look how cute that cat is sitting on that chair. Oh my gosh. And then I left the inside plain. Isn't she so cute? And she just looks so so high and mighty sitting there. She can see her gems. So did you like that card? Oh, I think it's so cute, her sitting on that chair. She thinks she rules the roost and I think she does. All right, so I'm gonna say see you later. I will see you um, Friday for my dyes shorts. If you have any questions, let me know. And please don't forget about the free shipping. It's only for today. And in the United States, you have to spend at least 75 catalog merchandise to get the free shipping. 
all right? Um, but let me know if you have any questions at all. So make sure you reach out to me if you have any questions at all. And have a great night, and I will um, talk to you Friday. All right, bye for now.